facts about genes. The word gene wasn't coined until the 20th century. Although father of genetics, Gregor Mendel, conducted his pea plant experiments in the mid-1800s, it wasn't until 1909 that Danish botanist, botanist Wilhelm Johansson became the first person to describe Mendel's individual units of heredity. He called them genes, derived from pangenesis, the word Charles Darwin used for his now disproven theory of heredity. Among other ideas, Darwin suggested that acquired characteristics could be inherited. Octopuses can edit their own genes. Cephalopods like squids, cuttlefish and octopuses are incredibly intelligent and wily creatures, so much so that they can so that they can rewrite the genetic information in their neurons. Instead of one gene coding for one protein, which is normally the case, a process called recoding lets one octopus gene produce multiple proteins. Scientists discovered that this process helps some Antarctic species keep their nerves firing in frigid waters. The Washington Post notes. The idea that a single gene determines whether you have attached or unattached earlobes is a myth. Forget what you may have learned about earlobes and genetics in middle school. While your genes probably play some role in determining whether you have attached earlobes, a supposedly dominant trait, it, or unattached earlobes, the idea that this trait is controlled by a single gene is simply untrue. On top of that, earlobes don't even fall into two distinct categories. There's also a third which University of Delaware Associate Professor John H. McDonald calls intermediate earlobes. It doesn't look to me as if there are just two categories. Instead, there is continuous variation in the height of the attachment point, McDonald writes on his website. A better example of a trait controlled by a single gene is blood type. Whether you have an A, B or O blood type is determined by three variations or, or alleles. Or alleles of one gene, according to Jensen Seaman. DNA testing kits can't tell how smart you are. Much like your talents and personality intelligence, it's also a complex trait that's difficult to measure because it's influenced by many different genes. One 2017 study identified 52 genes associated with higher or lower intelligence, but the predictive power of those genes, or ability to tell how smart you are, is less than 5%. Another study from 2018 identified 538 genes associated with intelligence, which have a 7% predictive power. Put simply, no DNA testing kit can accurately predict whether you're a genius or dunce, even if the company claims it can, and even if scientists make improvements in this field of study, DNA tests can't account for the environmental factors that's also, that also influence intelligence.